on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, let's get into more detail when it comes to Izuku's training. Though, yes, he, his, he has a bunch of nodes. Just like all my said, he needs some way to really put them into action. So, as far as he knows, yes, it's like Bakugo's, but a better version. While Bakugo is only pretty much limited to his hands, Izuku's everywhere. He can ignite it. Just to the point where he's... All he has to do is concentrate on where he wants the explosion to occur. Easier said than done. Though, it's Izuku. He's he's a flat, fast uh, learner. <laughs> First thing he does is try to fly. He always thought it was a possibility, especially when he did go over his notes of, over Kachan, which he has like a kind of hinted at in the previous part, he doesn't do anymore. If anything, if since he has his own quirk explosion that's more advanced, all he has to do is pretty much stay himself. So he's already thought of changing his hero costume to a point where doesn't we model All Might? But more of his own style and how he actually uses his quirk. Like, think of Yang's shotgun gauntlets. Izuku still has somewhat like that kind of design in which not only can it have an outward blast like Bogos, but it can also invert them. Which means, yes, he can use them as a rocket to increase his punch if need be. One thing that he actually has a trouble with is his, you know, his sweat itself is very explosive. <laughs> to a point where he has to be careful on what part he actually explodes. If he's not, chances are, yeah, he's going to blowing himself up. If he's not careful about where he sweats and doesn't properly deal with it, anyone, anyone who actually starts a spark by accident could risk uh, causing a bit of an explosion. But one thing that Izuku's always thought about, like, what if he's up, not up against a human or something that needs to be destroyed? In which he actually comes across something that Bakugo hasn't even thought of yet. One of his super moves is an AP shot. The only thing is, Izuku just concentrates on the single point of his finger as he draws his switch towards it, igniting it right at the point where he connects enough. Now, like Bakugo, who pretty much has a set, you could say, size, all depends on how much sway Izuku actually concentrates in one point. He gets so good at this to the point where he actually can use it not only on one finger, but multiple. Think of Frieza's death beam. Makes it with Bago's AP shot. And yeah, you can just imagine All Might. He's very interested in seeing how easy his progress, especially since he just found out about his quirk. And Zuku is hell proud of himself for how, yeah... He's been quirkless for years. Everyone pretty much turned their backs on him or mocked him for wanting to be a hero. Especially Bakugo. Though he does get a bit more confidence, he's not arrogant. Because he knows how it feels to really be belittled or looked down upon because he, someone or has a better quirk or Something that could actually help him become a hero. Via Bakugo and his friend's treatment of him. 
So yeah, he has more confidence in himself. The only thing is, he's not an arrogant ass. Right, he somewhat thanks Bakugo for showing him, like, yeah, that's not who I want to be like at all. And Inko, though she is worried, she has to make sure that his room especially is colder, just so he doesn't end up sweating all over his bed and waking up is all charred. All my seeing is uh, Izuku's quirk is amazing. Yeah. He has considered him for one for all, but he's... when he actually gives a slight answer, while well, he's asking him if he could, uh, if he would accept another quirk or a quirk enhancement, Izuku is worried because, like, wait, what are you talking about? You like, like uh, trigger? He's like, no, 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 not that. Wait, how do you know about Trigger? <coughs> no, no reason. I did research. But no, something that could enhance your quirk to the nth degree. Uh, I wouldn't want that. I mean, if you had somebody giving someone an enhancement permanently, I, uh, I guess get to someone who is hmm, probably someone who doesn't have a quirk. What? Yeah, because think about it. If, uh, let's say, yeah, I just got this quirk. If you just give me something that makes it stronger right off the bat, I'll have to reprogram myself just to account for the extra power I can emit. As well as, you gotta think about the whole fact that, uh, you know, oh, oh, okay, interesting, huh, you are a lot more mature than other people your age. She could thank him, and the train continues. So, yes, here, not only do you have a experiment court that's barren and bulk goes, he makes notes about himself and pretty much like, eh, Bob goes, uh, right now irrelevant. But someone still to be mindful of. He can fly, he's already developed the AP shot as well as rapid fire. As, considering that he has more control over it. Like I said, he had to adjust his notes of Bakugo to more better fit himself. As for Bakugo, the fact that Izuku technically said, yeah, my quirk is better than yours, so I don't need to study you at all, makes Bakugo feel like shit. He's been getting all his praise, all everyone talking about how great his quirk is. Hell, even Izuku, when they were kids, wouldn't stop raving about it. But now... Not only does Izuku have a quirk, it's an explosion quirk that's more advanced. So Izuku accidentally made Iz uh, Bago feel inferior to him. How so? Uh, Bago still has to only use his hands. That's all he can do. Though, yes, all his way is very flammable. It he needs his hands to ignite it. So you can just imagine he's like a downgraded of Izuku right now. That's how he feels. Like how he pretty much um, all my life I've been talk talked up about it. My ego got inflated. Everyone praising my quirk. And now Here's this guy who has a quirk, not just like mine, but better, and he was one of my groupies. So now he's going to, now he can definitely be the number one hero. Me, I'm just second best. Is what going through Bago's mind is he is training to the shit ton 
crazy amount to the point where he doesn't fracture his arms. He breaks them. Miski pissed, but also kind of understanding his situation. Yeah, you used to be friends with this guy until you become came an arrogant piece of shit. So, the whole fact that he does feel this way just causes him to kind of be a little bit more humble, but also resentful of Izuku. Not to the point where like, he wants to kill him, he just wants to beat him. He wants to prove that he's better. The only way to do that is to, honest to God, beat Izuku. This is pretty much when he does see that Izuku is training with All Might, the number one hero, and that's what sets him off the deep end. He rushes in there and like, what the hell is going on? Izuku being all nonchalant, saying hey and everything, still calling him Kachan. All Might, he's running out of time and his time limit, so he's pretty much like, oh, hey. Uh, you're the boy that got caught by the stunts reeling, aren't you? Yeah, that's right, the core raise uh, girl, of course. So, it goes back and forth between All Might, Izuku, Bakugo, pretty much with Izuku trying to explain why he's trained by All Might while All Might tries to calm down Bakugo. But, uh, Bakugo isn't really hearing it. He just starts feeling like Izuku is, if nothing else, getting hella special treatment all of a sudden, all because he unlocked his quirk. Much to the point where Bakugo yells, curses, screams to the heavens that he wishes that Izuku was still quirkless. And he just runs out like that. Izuku is shocked at this. I thought he'd be happy. All Might sings. Well, you have a quirk better than his. Damn, you just stole his chance of becoming possibly number one. But Izuku, he tries to contact Bakugo again. But there's nothing he can really say or do. Besides, not go to UA. And he's not going to do that. <laughs> he's not going to just give up his dream just because it, it hurts Bakugo's feelings. Are you kidding me? Though, yes, he does feel a bit guilty. He can't help the fact that he has a quirk like this. Which does give him a good reminder. Of, huh. You wish I was quirkless. Just so you could probably become no more hero. I mean, add to like yours. Yes, yes. This is when Izuku's thinking about how Bakugo, yeah, he's not a real friend. He'd rather me be quirkless and me give up on my dream or try and constantly fail rather than have such a strong quirk. That's like his, but better? He sees Bago as a selfish, arrogant asshole now. To a point where Kachan is not even a name he's ever heard of before. So he doesn't try to find Bakugo near the end of the 10 months. But when it comes to the interest exam, theoretical, he had plenty of time to study. So. He and Bago tie in that regard. When it comes to the practical, Izuku, he's all nervous to the point where, okay, do I have this? Do I got this? He's barefoot, by the way. Everyone kind of surprised at this, but to the point is, okay, I got this. As he jets out of there like a bat out of hell, and Ida, seeing this, seeing someone. Technically, outpace him. Though, yes, he knew there were quirks out there that were 
supposed to be better than his, but he's never seen one used in such a way. First he thinks, oh wait, is it some kind of fire quirk or energy? He's like, then he just sees the explosions, he's usually just pointing a finger and destroying countless robots before anyone else can even get to them. But it's when the Zero Pointer finally arrives is where Izuku finally really gets to let loose, so to speak. He sees the Zero Pointer just inching ever so closer. Everyone else is running off. Someone does get trapped. This time it's not Oraka. Let's say it's Ashida. It's Mina. Which, yes, yeah, she already got herself out of the rubble via the slot. Little slimy acid she can make. But she's still wounded. She's still hurt. She can't do anything else but simply crawl away and hope that the test is over and someone, you know, deactivates the robot. <laughs> but instead of doing that, all my tells Nezu, hold on. Let's see what my uh, student does. Everyone is looking at you. Are you serious? He wants to be a hero? Let's see what else he, he's willing to do. Only difference here is he knows this is a, a test. Really. Let's see if he'll depend on us or put, <laughs> put matters into his own hands. As Izuku, he sees the Ashiro's crawling and he raises his hand. Gathers up whatever sweat he can at the moment, and luckily he's been sweating a lot. <laughs> As he just yells, Big Bang Attack, shooting a pressurized explosion right in the middle of the zero pointer, it piercing the armor and blowing it up from the inside. As then he rockets there, picks up Ashido before she can get hurt by shrapnel and whatnot, and that is the end of the test. Izuku, no, it was a bit of a showing, offing moment, but still is. Hell, this is UA. He has to put himself above the rest somehow. And though, yes, he didn't know about the hero points, uh, he has some hero points. Mina didn't, since she did have to save Izuku, but if anything, yeah, let's just say that, uh, that was one hell of a superhero moment for Izuku. And Mina being not as shy, very open, she gives Izuku a kiss on the cheek. Him almost falling out of the sky and dropping her, but being able to catch himself as a superhero landing. Looking even cooler, while Mina's like, yeah, I know. I know I got to you. And that is how the entrance exam goes. Bakugo has to sell for second place. He doesn't really know all that Izuku did, but he knows if he didn't get first, chances are Izuku did. Which just instills upon him that I have to beat him no matter what. This feeling is just clawing at his mental state. The fact that he has to play second fiddle to someone who was beneath him before. And, yeah. All things considered, canon-wise, yes, Izuku could have been considered beneath Bakugo. And... This strikes Bakugo hard. He's in my school. He's made it to the top already as for years ago. What What can I really do to set myself apart? Because he doesn't know about the super move Izuku has come up with. He doesn't know about the AP shot or how good he is at flying. Or the Big Bang Attack in which, yes, Izuku will come up with some more familiar attacks. <laughs> but, all in all, being Izuku is, is pretty much the goal 
Not really the whole being number one hero aspect. Right now, beating Izuku. If he can do that, that shows that he's better. He's worthy of being the number one hero. Because think of it like this. Izuku with his mindset, the way his attitude is, Mr. Baka goes, who are you really want to save you more? The arrogant asshole who threatens to kill you or or someone who's kind hearted who can uh, pretty much calm you down despite being somewhat jittery and whatnot. Yeah, Balgo has confidence and arrogance. Izuku is showing more of a heroic aspect. All in all, who would make the better hero? And now, let's get to the first day of Yue. Balgo already knew that Izuku was going to be there. It was obvious. He just didn't want to see him at all. But... He can't just run from this. So as soon as he does, he tries to ignore him the best he can. But then it's, it's when Mina just runs out to him and grabs him and hugs him like hell. Like, what, what, what the hell is this? Now Bakugo is thinking, wait, now he has a girlfriend? Is yes, Izuku, he's embarrassed by Mina. Mina is being all affectionate, lovey dovey. He's like, okay, okay. Uh, seriously, I don't even know your name. Oh, it's Mina. And she just keeps hugging him. Everyone is like, wow, what the hell? When it comes to Manetta, he's jealous. Kaminari, Sero, jealous. Bogugo, pissed, like usual. Is Izuku tries to explain that all he did was save her. He didn't plan on this happening. Him trying to technically explain himself for no real reason. Other than just to clear the air. <laughs> but Mina, she's pretty much... It's kind of like falling in love with someone who saves your life. It may fade away or else it could grow into a deeper... Love, an actual love interest. Mina is not one to really hide her feelings. <laughs> and then, yeah, she is expressive as hell. She's trying to pretty much... Uh, thank you so much. I could, is there anything I, I could do to make it up to you or repay my debt? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Give it some time. If you still like me after such and such and whatever, then maybe we can try this out, see how it goes. But right now, we don't even know each other. Right now, you just see me as the hero that saved you. That's pretty much it. Me understanding, yes. But she's still stubborn as hell. As time does go by, the whole, you can say, uh, Kappa engine test, Izuku par exceeds Bakugo, like you would expect, especially with the quirk he has. Bakugo is driving himself crazy over this. I do mean it. He's always playing second best to Izuku. He doesn't even care about the other students. Hell, for all he knows, they're just extras, in which that's how he treats them. But Izuku is a full-on rival right off the bat, as soon as he got that quirk. As soon as Izuku really displayed how good he was at using it, yeah, Bakugo is pissed. He's insecure about how things are going to go. The, you know, it's bad enough that All Might has been training him. But for a simple fact that Isuku saw things that Bogo hasn't even considered. Let me give you an example. The heroes versus villains. And Bogo goes in trying to attack Izuku. Izuku leads him to a trap. 
prior to them pretty much starting it, Izuku has actually collected enough sweat so he can make a makeshift pitfall trap. All he has to do is spark it. Just in case Bogo tries anything unexpected. <laughs> like I said, he hasn't really paid much attention to Bakugo ever since. He actually planted his sweat in specific areas. He canned it, or at least stored it in such a way, like many grenades. Only thing is, his delivery system is just well, place his sweat here, there, and there. So, when Bakugo actually does come after him, they're in this enclosed space. Bakugo ready to beat the ever-loving crap out of Izuku to beat him. But Izuku's already planned ahead and lights everything his sweat has touched, destroying the room and making the ceiling collapse upon Bakugo. Now, not to really hurt him, but enough to trap him so Izuku has enough time to ride the catcher tail around him. Boom, Bago is defeated. And Izuku didn't even have to really use his all out explosions against him. So he rockets back up to where Ida and Oraka are, and he distracts Ida while you can guess, yeah, or Oraka does go for the bomb. They win. Izuku's made the MVP next to Ida because of his tactics. He knows Bakugo, he knows his temperament, and he does have some recollection of his fighting style, or one that he would use, due to his quirk and his explosive personality and nature. Considering that Izuku is more calm and precise, his control of his quirk is more, for lack of a better word, better. <laughs> yeah, he was able to take... Bago's advantages with his quirk and turn them against him. When Bago does try to attack Izuku out of the blue every so often, all Izuku does is place one drop of his sweat and lights it. Bago is sweating a lot, even when he's not really noticing. So that spark it blows Bago up. When it comes to Izuku's resistance against explosions, he still can get burned and blown back by him. Only thing is, he's already realized, okay, since I can do this and vibrations go through my brain, I, my bones and whatnot, you know, he can just strengthen them via the vibrations caused by his explosions. So he goes through hours of explosion therapy, pretty much to... Not only get him more a resistance towards it, but also make it so his bones are getting strengthened, as well as his skin being more dense. Balgo does try to get an explanation to how is he doing this? How is he so good at using a quirk he hasn't had all his life like Balgo did? I study. Quirks. Uh, I am a quirk nerd, remember? And that's all you can say because everyone knew him as a quirk nerd. From when they were kids to, you know, middle school. Them notes. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason Bongo wanted to blow them up. Because he knows Izuku, given enough time, can come up with contingency plan after a contingency plan to take out a person with a specific quirk if he learn if he learns about how their habits are how they usually prefer to fight etc etc Bakugo cannot really guard against that yeah but brains and brains and brawn are very helpful Knowledge is power for a reason, and given Izuku hasn't really changed much till canon, 
until the quirk awakening yeah he has a whole lot of knowledge when it comes to Bakugo's quirk what's the Bakugo's being pissed off but he can't really say he oh man this guy has been stalking me no he's been studying me he's been preparing to take me on But that gives him a, a little bit more worry. Because he actually does wonder, what if Izuku decided to be a villain? He actually brings this up in front of the whole class during one of All Might's, honest to God, lessons. And even All Might's thinking, that's true. If you know, Midoriya became a villain with his knowledge and know-how, who could really stand against him? The way he analyzes and studies quirks, as well as the people... If he had a spy quirk? Hmm, that actually could be a good wife idea. <clears throat> he could actually be able to take out each and every one of the villains or heroes if he wanted to with enough knowledge the way you can think of a plan almost huh, instantaneously that is one of the things besides his damn explosion quirk that makes him a cut above everyone else makes him so dangerous as a hero and or a villain he usually wouldn't rush in to situations unless that heroic instinct just comes in when it came to Bakugo, he didn't have a plan to save him. Instinct just took over. If he had enough knowledge about the sludge villain, if he knew more about how the hero's temperaments and everything, just or he could have saved Bakugo and All Might might have not have needed to actually interfere. Oh hell, what if Izuku actually trained his body beforehand? Still not knowing he had a quirk, mixed in with the fact that his knowledge and his contingency plans be put into action. Like, one thing you can do, take out Bakugo. Hmm. Make it so cold he can't even sweat. Or make it so every time he tries to use an explosion, every make it so he sweats so much that he can't risk sparking. Or he'll blow himself up. Because of All Might, he can't go all out in front of countless citizens. So if anything, if he planned on taking out All Might, crowded area, make it so villains are all around him, dressed up as regular civilians, and All Might will be fooled long enough for Ziku to actually take him on. In which all, all my really needs is to get hit right in the weak spot or you could say a mild paralytic. So yeah. Them realizing how dangerous not Izuku's quirk is, but also his mind and the way he thinks, oh they they are looking at him a little bit different. Except Mina. If anything, yeah, she sees that, yeah, he can be dangerous, but... So what? D do you guys really see him doing something villainous at all? Her reassuring them... A little? But still the fact that he can still possibly take out the best heroes, given enough time... Preparation. Think of it like Batman. He has contingency plans for contingency plans, damn it. He is not one to fuck with it. He doesn't have any powers. He earned everything besides the family fortune in which he continues to build. Think about that. Imagine. Is it with Batman's back? So, oh. <laughs> I can do that too.
Damn it, I need to stop stop with these bullhead ideas. I, I need to probably shut my brain down a little bit. <clears throat> so, let's get to the whole USJ attack. As soon as it occurs, Yuzuku, upon realizing, yeah, that thing is meant to kill All Might, he's worried. He's thinking about, okay, so how can I do this? How can I fix? It's when his instincts show back up again. Where things like, what the hell? Like, think of it like, uh, yes, Izuku went to attack Shigaraki full force. He used his strongest attack, the Big Bang attack so far, and aimed it straight towards him. It's already been shown to be able to destroy the Zero Pointer. Though he has to know he is stronger, that's a lot of kickback. Just because the fire of the explosion doesn't hurt you does not mean the impact won't. And that thing is sent flying. Sue is shocked at this. Man, scared as always. But Shigaraki is actually intrigued here. You tried to kill me. Izuku's uh, speechless. Shigaraki has a crooked ass smile. Like, you actually tried to kill me. So much for being a hero, huh? As All Might does show up. But he sees everything pretty much as per canon, except Izuku is. Looking right up at Shigaraki, just shaking his head, no, 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 as Anomu actually shows back up. All oh, my going toe-to-toe -to -toe with it again, the only thing is, Izuku, being how he is still, and not having to worry about one for alls, you know, <laughs> he is actually able to give a pretty good hand. To the point where he does tell All Might that this thing was meant to kill you. It has shock absorption, hyper speed regeneration, and super strength. It was made specifically for you. I don't know how, but yes, that thing was meant to kill you. All Might knowing this, like, okay. Shock absorption, not negation. So I just gotta wear out that quirk. It pretty much being similar to it was a cannon. The only thing is, one, All Might doesn't get nearly as injured. Two, having Izuku there means he has someone to actually give him advice and whatnot mid-battle. Three, yeah, Izuku was able to pick up on that whole aim for the brain thing. Korigiri can't really do much considering that yes there are two explosion users and one is a lot more efficient at using that type of power but at the end of the day yeah Shigaraki and Koigiri still get away with Shigaraki is having one more day at Izuku that he is going to kill him a hero was going to be willing to kill a villain. Actually criticizing All Might for teaching them to be a hero, sometimes you have to kill or something? Is that really what you want a society to back? To put their faith in? One of your students were about to be a killer if it wasn't for my, my friend here. Just pointing at the Nomu's dead body. As, yes, they get away. All Might seeing that Izuku is shook. He knows he that, yes, he wasn't planning on killing Shigaraki. Yeah, he didn't... He didn't want to. He didn't... If it did happen, he didn't mean to, but it's that little sliver of doubt he has. Like, I, why 
did I use one of my strongest attacks for someone who definitely couldn't take it full force.